Cupid's birthday. It would be rather polite if you took a hot bath. M Milford Cubicle. You're a bit pooey. Hubert Cumberdale. Oh, them's trousers a bit posh, sunshine. And how old are you going to be? <whistles> they do grow up fast. Who on earth could that be? It's far too early for guests. Who the devil are you? Uh, let's see what the fingers make of all this. Oh, y you appear to be free of all information. would advise you, young Binnikins, not to associate yourself with such an ignorant, textualist pole. Are you Hubert's birthday stick? No answer, as I expected. Come on, Sludgeworth. I won't ask you again. Well, someone's a saggy slumber, chaps. Hold on. This might get your gears in motion. Smirk. Oh, what a day you've chosen to fall under. Horace, you're in charge until I get back. Don't you crumple your face up at me, Hubert Jason Cumberdale. We've a duty to fetch the doctor, since our wandering guest has fallen ill. Now sit tidy and wait for the GP. He is trusty old Dr. Papanak. <laughs> Just here for the old once over, Doc. <laughs> I, I, I suppose you'll be checking me for nimpers and camel spots. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, 
I'll switch my knickers. We're awfully late. I must have slept for six Mondays. Christ in staples. At Horace, I said you could bring one friend. Cubicle, uh, what's become of your outer casing? Your, your butter hollow structure. You foul creatures. When I find which one of you wretched beasts consumed Mr. Cubicle's flesh, oh, there'll be heavens to pay. Go on, bugger off, the bloody lot of you. Out of my house. You again. I bet you're the ringleader here, aren't you? You should feel a great shame for this outcome, sir. A great shame. Oh, I, I, I see you've invited the whole platoon. Is this remaining seat reserved for me? Forgotten.